North Wales is my first choice as an area to come and train in. What I read on the website it ticked all the boxes really. This was an obvious choice, it was a, a friendly, warm environment. I felt accepted as part of the team. Everyone was really positive, I knew that I'd be well supported. It doesn't matter what line of work you're in, whether you're a domestic, whether you're a cook or whether you're the head of nursing. I just felt we were all treated on the same level. There's enough going on so you get good training, but at the same time um, it's small enough to be friendly. You need good communication skills with the patients. Some of them, they've been through a really rough time. They're bombarded with all these tasks that doctors have sent them for and it can be quite a daunting experience for them. I think you need to have good communication skills. You need to be a good listener as well. You need to be able to empathise with the patients and just listen to what they want and what their needs are. You always need to have the understanding of the patient's needs to feel safe and to make sure that the, the, the care that they're receiving is of good quality. I think you have to be quite an outgoing confident person to be working on your own but also uh, excellent communication skills. I feel that listening is a very good quality, having empathy, understanding. You need to be able to be a good communicator and to be able to relate to clients so that they can feel comfortable in coming to you if they have a problem. You've got to have quite an appetite for, for a hard working environment. You, you need to um, be able to remain focused and uh, juggle quite a lot of balls and they are all at the same time, uh, usually doing somersaults as well. And also a sense of humour helps as well. <laughs> every day is different. There's a lot of hard-working people within my team. It's always a challenge every day. Uh, there's something new, something varied, and something that you can take pride in. Do you feel as though you're making a difference to the health and the lives of the local population? Working with people with uh, learning disabilities in can be incredibly fulfilling. I really enjoy the patient contact. I like going into their own homes. I like being able to talk to them, find out what the problem is. I think the best bit about the job is being able to say, I don't need to see you again, we've achieved the goal. I think it's nice working on the wards here because um, there's a very nice atmosphere amongst the staff. I do get a huge amount of job satisfaction. It's very challenging, very rewarding, and as long as you put the time and dedication in, you'll get lots of rewards back. I'm a people's person, and I think it does help in this job, especially that you liaise so much with the patients. And if you can just make a little bit of difference, it just gives you great job satisfaction. I would say that I actually like all of my job uh, because it is full of variety and you never know from day to day what is going to happen. I like the challenge each day. I don't know what to expect when I come in on a shift. I like everything about my job. You, you learn every day, no two patients are the same and every case is, is new and every case is different. I think community roles are really important because you are seeing people in their own homes and when you see them in the hospital they tend to say what you want them to say and do what you want them to do so they can get home but when they're at home you actually see the more honest picture um, and I think you can do a more thorough assessment. The district nurses have a huge role to play within the community trying to keep patients in their preferred place of care especially within chronic disease and palliative care and keep them at home where they want to be. My team are really good people that we work with, they're very caring people um, very sympathetic so they know how you feel. My team are absolutely great, uh, they're very innovative, they're very very supportive. They're also very good people to socialise with. <laughs> the opportunities for career pro progression have been really positive. Our philosophies are very forward thinking. There is lots of training going on um, all the time because we need to develop our knowledge, we need to develop our skills. There have been opportunities for me to extend my role and to take up a more academic pathway than I would have first anticipated. There's lots of courses, lots of training. They're always keen to keep us up to date with research to implement into our patient care. We've been at the forefront in, in both in the Division of Surgery and in, in Medicine in terms of you know, new developments. We've got a very active training and development department um, and they certainly support local training as well as external training. We have um, clinical supervisors and educational supervisors who um, will take us on board as trainees and help us to develop our skills. They're very supportive, they, they encourage you to learn. So I feel I'm learning every day and that's what it's all about, isn't it? We're all learning every day. There is room for all clinicians to progress. I couldn't ever feel that I wouldn't get support from my colleagues and I think that that's one of the most important things. I've, I've spent all of my adult working life here and, and feel very much at home within the organisation. I can foresee myself being here for the next 20-25 years. 
I feel privileged to work for the NHS.